Like that, the student section would love it. What a nice touch. Tell the other thing I'm going to enjoy looking ahead. One of the blessings I get every year, Mark, is I MC the back tonight, but just a really exciting time for the Missouri Valley Conference. Evansville, even though they've slipped up a little bit, lost a couple of games, still has a really good resume and a strong chance for an at-large bid if they keep playing well down the stretch. Now I was going to ask you about that when we showed the standings earlier. They're, I believe, at 19 wins, yep. second in the league at 8-4. and four. So you think they got a chance? I think they do. You know, the, the hard thing. I get the ball, I want to attack the basket, get to the hole, and make some, up, make some shots. And they get a bucket. Ishmael Sanogo, the sophomore from Eastside High in Newark. And Sanogo that time, outstanding patience not to rush a shot inside when he had one-on-one -on -one opportunity. First bucket for Sanogo. Amakota comes back to answer. Only coach to lead his team to 30 wins or more in each of the last three seasons. He could list any number of accolades for the Shockers, Mark, and he matches up with all the blue bloods. Ramakota almost traveled and got Marcus McDuffie. No, McDuffie clears. Van Vliet. Here's Brown. Back out to Fred. Under 10 minutes to go, 10 on the shot clock. If McDuffie gets open, Fred Van Vliet will give him the ball again. Feeds Wamakota. Another assist for Van Vliet. Another per game, but this is a team that's riding a four-game winning streak, UNLV, including two ranked wins. Well, he feels confident with having the two point guards out there. Seagears, who he said became more of a complete point guard after the Maui Invitational where they had a lot of success won two of their three games there but then also having Patrick McCall out there both guys able to fully handle the basketball Brown aggressive in the early going Wamakota who just checked in we saw him earlier today of those great Marshall, great sets to get those guys shots. But I think he's going to be a tremendous addition for this Wichita State team. Boy, he can really shoot it. And he shoots it quickly. Baker with it, shot clock down to five. Nice entry pass. And a photo. Boat right. Inside the lane, may have got away with a walk there. And they will back it out now for the Shockers. They're ranked number 20. McDuffie beyond the three. The bounce speed and finished. Oh, in going for the offensive rebound. Kelly will get the opportunity to continue playing the game as he continues to throw some offensive rebounds. Yeah, good team defense by the Shockers, closing off that drive to the basket and then pressuring the basketball shot without fouling. There it is inside. Wamakota, nice pass, shot roll. And when we looked at the statistics was that as many substitutions as Sean Miller has made. NCAA tournament the last four years in a row, so they played in the game right before the Shockers did up in Omaha. Remember, they played, sure, uh, played Kansas. They rebound the basketball. They do everything on the floor. You can't replace them, but the cupboard, as you mentioned, Larry, is not bare. This team has a lot of talent. They have a lot of depth, a lot of... Valentine, again... Down 11. Biggest. Oh, whenever, that, when, whenever somebody used to call three seconds, as a coach, you always let. You, you just almost can't believe that they call it. But if the guy's in there for three, you got to call it. You don't see it very often. No. 
Final minute in Carbondale here in the first half. Bean, who's been quiet, still can't get it to go his way. You know, it's one of those. I get the ball, I want to attack the basket, get to the hole, and make some, out, make some shots. And they get a bucket. Uncomfortable playing against him. Whitehead out of the timeout, leaves it for Delgado, and everything but the finish. The big guy gets it back. And it's finally pulled down. Not emotionally. Shot clock winding down. Just in time. It got on the rim from Brown. And there's Rodriguez in the passing lane. And we're going to have a foul against Wichita. Fran Camp still looking for his first field goal as a shocker. He forced that, and that's a bad shot. A combined 0 for 7 now for Connor Fran Camp. Maybe pressing just a little bit. Little handoff, Taylor blocked from behind by Baker. Bonham, left hand, no. Hurdle, can't get the rebound. Kuzma does, wild shot, and it's rebounded by Wamako. Basketball IQ of any guy that Dave Rice has ever coached is what he told us. He's coached some NBA players, we know that. Nice spin move, no good. Brown. No. Here's Seagares in transition. Good transition defense from the Shockers. Three to shoot. Van Vliet hangs. Can't hit. Wamakota. And it's a shot clock violation. Eight second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Wichita State's 34 game home winning streak on the line. Big rebound by one season is going to be a challenge to get there this one. It is because this Iowa team is of major quality. Lost two tough games in this tournament to probably NCAA tournament teams in Dayton and Notre Dame. Utah, tough shot. Ramakota. Baker pops it up there. Wasn't able, weren't able to complete the job, but Bedlam I know is going to be crazy. USC with the ball and on top 25-17. About a sharp first half. Martin swings it for Jacobs in the corner. Last year the Trojans struggled to go 12 and 20 on the season. Straight on a jumper, not there for both 